On this Veterans Day, a retired Army Sergeant and former Northeast ISD bus driver is sharing painful war memories. A brutal ambush that he survived during the Vietnam War is coming to the big screen next year. The film is called The Last Full Measure. Fred Navarro sat down with our Marvin Hurst to share the peril and courage of what happened on 11 April 1966. in this small trench, and two of them unwounded, one a CBS sound technician. We can watch clips of the Vietnam War at will, but Fred Navarro wishes he could stop the images playing in his head. This incident, <clears throat> this incident has done its damage. And it's sad because I'm not really the person that I used to be. He's a retired Army Sergeant Major whose war story in Vietnam is now a feature film called The Last Full Measure. It's about April 11th, 1966. He was a point man for Charlie Company in a search and destroy mission after landing in Bang Tau, Vietnam, 30 miles east of Saigon. The Viet Cong struck decisively. The DC had gotten all around us. We didn't take but a few steps and all hell broke loose. He said his company was trained, as was the enemy, who had his company outnumbered and outgunned. And we fought for our lives and uh, just everything was crazy. They radioed the Air Force to lift the wounded out from the ambush. On his day off, pararescue man William Pitsenbarger came in on a helicopter. Navarro says he was there when Pitts, as they called him, came down. According to Navarro, the chopper took soldiers away three times from the attack. Pitts had a chance to leave. The pair rescue jumper model is so others may live. So Pitts and Barger waved the helicopter away. Then Navarro was shot. Pitts came to his aid. Now imagine 700 guns firing at the same time. Pitts and Barg came to check on me and he pulled, he put his, took his flight vest off and put it on my chest. And then he pulled two dead Americans on top of me to protect me. He said Pitts and Barger was killed trying to run away. Navarro remained under the shield of dead bodies. We laid there all night, which was really scary. Uh, you couldn't see your face, your hands in front of your face. It was very dark, but you could hear guys moaning and crying and calling for their mother, praying. The enemy's fury lasted eight hours. A helicopter came back the following day. Navarro was rescued. When he got better, he fought for Pitts and Barger to be recognized with the Air Force's Medal of Honor. On December 8, 2000, the honor was awarded. Pitts and Barger was also promoted to Staff Sergeant. Pitts and Barger is a hero. That account is what will play out in movie theaters. It's a story the 77-year-old can't get past. You know, there was 180 American soldiers on this mission. And of the 180, there was Hundred and eleven of us wounded and forty-eight killed. In fact, he still can't find a takeaway from that awful day. For a while, for a few years, it, it made me a better person, uh, a stronger person. Medicine, marriage, and a furry dog named Max have made life more tolerable. I used to appreciate life more. But Navarro says, to be honest, pieces of him die daily. My PTSD has really taken over, and I can't help it. It 
it's hard to explain. Uh, people say, well, you know, I, I understand, but you don't understand unless you got it, unless this has happened to you. You don't understand. So, at the very least, this movie is his way of honoring those from the darkest day of his life, 11 April 66. I, I don't know how he made it. Powerful testimony. The Last Measure hits theaters in January. It stars Samuel L. Jackson, Sebastian Stan, and the late Peter Fonda.